Hello everyone, welcome back to T's Family Channel. Today is the Monday, March 22nd, and it is my weekly update. Um, so this is my newly seed um, of the peppers. Uh, this is a uh, dragon uh, breath pepper, and this one is gather gold pepper. This is a uh, Carolina Reaper, and that one is a uh, red rose pepper. In the back there is lemon palm and it's pomelo seeds. They are so on the 4th of March. Over here is my basil and the spearmint from scrap food that I apart them in the small cup like that. They are very, um, they grow in taller, so I have to use the, the stick to support their body because I think they need to be a little bit deeper to support their tall body. And my peppers, I will move them um, sometime this week because today I will um, go to the water park in uh, Round Rock, Texas. So I will do that after I come back uh, from the trip. And my basil, this three basil in here, uh, they doing okay. I think I need to uh, transplant it into their permanent home and move it outside so it can grow a little bit healthier. This is um, almost forgot about it because it's strawberry and I saw I saw it long time ago by using the strawberry um, fruit pieces. It's, it's still doing very slow. And down there is my spearmint from seed and I'm not successing fully on them. So basically they just dying off. <laughs> and over here is the Thai basil but um, it's not successful either. I bought it from the store and first I put it in the water and I transfer it to the soil. The root system is not developed so it's not working. And my basil over here as well, the tall body is um, it's tilting right now. Again, I need to move them into their permanent home. Oh, they look so sad in here. <laughs> I've been lazy last week, but I have to move it this week. So let's go in outside to my greenhouse. So in my greenhouse, look at that, my basil. They grow in tall. Uh, that is just the uh, the lettuce leaves that uh, get yellow. So I throw it in there to give it more nutrition. So uh, this one is the sweet basil and the other two is uh, Genovese. So it looked like the Genovese is uh, growing taller compared to the sweet basil. But the leaves is, uh, oh, this one is bigger, huh? That is so big, oh my God. I picked a few leaves um, to eat uh, last week. And uh, they are still doing very good. Look at all the new growth. Yeah, so those um, basil inside, I will move them into uh, five gallons bags as well. And I move um, the tomato out here. I only keep uh, two of the bags. I don't know if this body is doing good because I, it looked like it formed to um, a harder body. It's not the soft body as uh, before. And I don't know what kind of flies is there. It just all over the tomato, um, tomato bag. Oh, I have to do some research about it. Uh, and the rest of them is uh, lettuce. So this tomato, I'm not, uh, this one and that one, I'm not growing it either. 
but that is some of my lettuce I harvest some of them and this one um, last week uh, it uh, being cut down from my uh, mother-in-law and that one's growing very healthy and let's see what else but not this one this one I think she cut it way too down way too low so it's take a longer time to grow so that one and this one is the same kind this is how I harvest this and it does grow out a little bit because I remember when I cut you know it's at least you know, I cut down all the way in here but now it's grown out and this is uh, was smaller leaves so I didn't cut it it's, it's very crunchy very hard so it's good um, this one growing good too. Ooh, that's so beautiful. This one get harvest as well. A few leaves on the bottom. See, this one got harvest from me. And this one as well. It's growing. That's good. So that's his last week. Uh, that's is my mother-in-law. Uh, cut down as well. So, um... As you know, it's, it's my first time uh, gardening, so a lot of things for me to learn and watch. Uh, so I can know what to do and what's not, you know. So this one is uh, being cut from my mother-in-law too. I feel like she would damage it, so <laughs> I said like, okay, let me harvest it. Because I don't know what's going on with this. Why is, oh, you know, yesterday I, um, I uh, watered them with the plant food from uh, Miracle. Uh, but this is already yellow before I, pl um, I pour the plant food in. So I have to pick those yellow leaves. Uh, why, why this kind is, uh, the leaves is in the outer corner is getting yellow I don't know it's probably it look like it doesn't have enough oxygen or something that's why it's the leaves is not as green it's the one that um, facing upward you know okay so this is my spinach from scrap food Look at that. I think I need to do something with this because look like right there it's right right there. Yeah, it look like that body is getting dry out and I feel like I need to cut the rest of the body and plant it into a different pot. This side is doing okay, but not that side. Sorry. But not uh, the right side. As you can see the new leaves. Uh, yeah, see, it's growing all the way down to the ground too. But not the right one. See, the body is getting dry up. Oh, you got to transfer them again. And my cilantro, Ooh, look at that, it's growing taller and taller, wow, it's amazing. Before, right before I transplanted, it, it's like about this much and now it's, it's double the size and height. I really like the looks of the cilantro in the one gallon bag, so I said that I'm going to sow some more, but I didn't. So yesterday I uh, feed them with some plant food too and I using the serene. It's right here. I use the serene for the smaller um, cups. Yeah, because it has to be on the ground. It cannot hit the leaves. Otherwise it will be uh, dying like it will burn. Like it's right here. So even it just touch the serenes, you know, it do that as well. Yeah. See, those leaves wasn't like that yesterday. 
but I think uh, it touched the serene. That's why the leaves is uh, being burned like this. But they grow and very healthy. They're very tall. So now I know my lesson that uh, I have to sow the cilantro in um, depth at least uh, at least the the whole thing of my hand the length see all of these is uh, getting yellow on the very outside leaves so this is the second uh, bucket of tomato This is my lettuce. I harvest this last time too and it's growing. Yep, they are growing. They are doing really well. Uh oh. I hope I don't kill. That was uh, yesterday, was the first time I watered the lettuce with the plant food. I think I need uh, to be a little bit more careful when I uh, using that liquid they uh, they never tell uh, you to um, manually use it on um, on different uh, water bottle because all they tell you is um, it's coming in the, in a bottle already and then you hook up in the sprayer so um, it only show that way but uh, for what I have been using the last uh, month, I feel this uh, bottle is one liter in, um, oh yeah, it's 33.8 fluid ounce with water and I use only the cap full of um, the plant food bottle and mix this and mix it uh, in with the water and it's doing great so far. It just you must be very careful when you using this kind of um, uh, water because absolutely no touching leaves at all okay that's all for my update this week thank you so much for watching if you like my video please give us a thumb up and subscribe to my channel i will see you next week not next week but in the next video Bye-bye.